Cock and Ball Torture. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting them to use their 3D models for the dialogues. I was not expecting them to go back to 2D. We got HP, we got 20% crit rate. 100% over there is critical damage, stability damage, no idea what this is. It has the cover icon, might be something for dealing damage through cover. So this should be the overwatch. Can't really go any further than this. Let's try setting up cover here. Buff and overwatch, see if it actually shoots outside of the turn. And no, looks like the overwatch doesn't really work. Or at least it doesn't work like this. Wait, 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 we get the... <laughs> we get the Call of Duty call-ins too. Well, <laughs> that was easy. Looking up close like this, they've done a pretty damn good job with the character models too. Honestly, very, very surprising how far anime games have been coming. <laughs> this is a bit of a weird choice. Is you have proper 3D models, they look absolutely amazing, and you can just give them a very small idle animation to make all of these things feel a little bit more alive. Okay, what do we have here? Beginner procurement, 20% discount for every 10 pools, elite doll guaranteed within 50. This is going to be basically the same thing that we got in Star Rail. Uh, standard, exact same thing. 60 is where the soft PT starts, 80 is where the hard PT hits. So yeah, the gacha is basically the Genshin one. Now we finish synchronizes the autonomous combat module, please click auto battle. Oh come on, 1-2 might be a bit too early to unlock auto battle. If the game is too easy, if most of the game can just be completed on full auto, it tends to be a little bit boring. So eventually, once we get further into the game, I do want to see hard stages, I do want to see challenge stages, I do want to see something like weird modifiers onto the enemies that force you to use different strategies in order to take them down. Because that has been really, really fun in Arknights. I was surprised by that mechanic in Sword of Convalaria as well. It makes stages a lot more interesting. So I do hope to see a lot more of that. Oh! Oh, nice, you have multiple uh, multiple rooms in here. The Mend in Progress. And After the Dance Fog. I guess these are going to be character specific. That's pretty damn hot. They have voice lines when you click on them, but sadly, no special animations. Uh, recruitment is now open. We can access the SART database to quickly spend our personnel and armaments. And this one is the base with the AT. Oh, they're keeping the pickup too. So it might take a little bit, but you can get one of the base units for free. And yeah, of course it had to be her. Really, really nice that they have custom gacha animations too. Uh, Curly can now join this squad. Please return to the ops room. But I can pull more. I want to pull more. <laughs> Training room for leveling units up. And look at that! Damn it, look at that! Their models. They look so, so damn good. Level up. Oh, this is the same as Arknights. Uh, you can check the, you can select the levels at which you want to get them. <laughs> they even gave them special level up animations. That's great. And this is just for checking them out. Yeah, honest. Really, really nice job on the models. Look at the... I don't know if you can see them. The textures on the clothes. These are really, really highly detailed. These are really, really nice. Little scratches on the metal plate. Jesus! 
Dude, the amount of detail, the attention. This is ins- Oh, 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 um. This is insane. God, the gloves. But just kind of impressed by the overall texture quality as well as the model quality. Elite doll within 50. And try and guess which one I really, really want. So you can only see what the result is going to be once you open the hatch. Nagrant. <laughs> uh, I was talking about the cat girl. Because the cat girl with huge tits, that's nice too. Wait. <laughs> Explosive lollipops. Oh, and she's the healer. There we go. Please, 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 burger. Okay, that's a bit of a high pitched voice. Oh, that's not her. Wait, what the? Oh no, I got the gold digger. Wait, no, she's a four star. <laughs> Obligatory, mandatory lolly healer that every game has to have. <laughs> Tololo, no, it's not that one. She looks pretty good. Uh, she looks pretty cute too. Nothing to complain about here. Single target burst, extra action. Extra action might actually be really, really OP, especially in a turn based game. This was a really good pool. Do like the Tololo. Access details, these are all the other ones. Oh, we can check them out. How cute. Oh, you can even check the gacha animation! <laughs> Are you for real? Ah, uh, well, sis, that Rita, this is the ca- Oh, Jesus! Completely unbothered by enemy fire, too. Jesus! She's a standard banner unit. You need to roll 280 or 260 times before you can pick up your guaranteed. If I can't get the fat girl once this actually releases, this might be my pickup. Todolo, we've just gotten. Again, looks mostly fine. The others were a couple of notches above the Chionju, this is the one we tried before. Sustain damage, assist, she's a fire unit, deals fire damage. In a line as well. And yeah, the Eastern inspired armor looks absolutely amazing. You can also check the gacha animation. Ooh, that must have hurt. Sabrina. Ah, Sabrina. This is the one I really wanted. <laughs> she looks so damn cute. Like, maybe a little bit thick, but we do like thick girls around here. <laughs> God. Let's see the gacha animation. Counters, buff, AoE, 
he'll block. She really brings a lot to the table. Probably as much as she clears off of that same table. Oh, we have our Mosin too. The only problem I see on this Mosin is that it has no sight onto its rail. Ah, that's cool. A lot less flashy compared to a lot of other units, but that's still cool. Single target burst damage, I guess this is just going to be high multiplier assassin. Oh, they're keeping the idol motif for her as well. <laughs> she has a better gacha animation than one of the six stars we've seen before. How the hell is this even possible? You know, you know that the devs are very, very partial to some units. Elite and weapon drop rate details. Base drop rate is 0.6, the base drop rate is 0.3. And the weapon is 0.3, so it's 50-50 when you get a legendary between character and weapon. Overall drop rate for obtaining the elite doll, including the guaranteed pool, is 1.89. So very similar to the Hoyoverse games, you kind of need to get to the PT in order to get the item you want. Again, this might be just for the standard banner, so the guarantee that you get is one of the one of these 12 items, but I would very, very much like to see the same thing kept for the unit banners. Another thing, you can buy the weapons for 900 points, so even if you don't get them from the gacha, Eventually, you can get your crit rate SSR weapons from here. We've done 60 pools, roughly. We are at 160 already. They, of course, have passive upgrades. So now she is C2. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that some of these shards can be farmed. Because if not, it's just going to be yet another Genshin situation where you absolutely need dupes for it. When it comes to our healers, the choice is still between these two. I think I might be partial to Cheetah, because I'm not seeing us taking that much damage. So maybe, hopefully, the passive healing is going to be more than enough to keep our team alive. Can we make this explode? Standard basic attack, blow that up. <laughs> nice. And we get the extra action. But here... Ultimate. The ultimate animations I'm not really feeling, because they are a little bit fast. She gets countered too. And that's the self-healing. Second counter. And I guess now we can go hunt down these snipers. Oh wait, she's first? There is no order. Like, everyone gets one action, but you decide in which order you move them. They don't have a speed, they don't have a fixed order. So yeah, if you want, you can run the units that, they, that destroy cover first, and then sweep through the enemies with your damage dealers. Uh, looks like she can't move on a tile that's reoccupied though, even though it looks like there's, <laughs> there's enough space in here for four units. Uh, brief commissions have been completed. Claim your reward. Uh, free Vapli on phase two to complete this squad with a really, really nice support. That's also one of the cutest ones. I'm, I'm really not gonna complain about that one. I think maybe the one weird thing is that Due to the number of enemies, we can actually be attacked by five, six, seven enemies in a single turn. Uh, rush Dana Box, I don't think we can hit. Rush Bat seems a little bit more chunky. Defense down before the sniper shot is also just vile.
and that is the third counter-attack. Honestly, kind of sad that Groza is not a 5 star. Okay, nice double kill. Oh cool, she teleports back too. As for you... I'm really, really lacking all the interactions, both between attacks as well as the end of turn and defensive ones. So you activate these. Defense buff. As we might be taking a little bit of damage. But yeah, between cover and stability, we're not taking any damage from this guy. So, Kotik... Actually going to attack in melee range. 196! That's more damage than the sniper ultimate too. Uh, she recovered enough energy for yet another ultimate. One thing I kind of wish they would do, especially if there's only one target, like you click on this skill and the target selection is automatic, just so you don't have to go around, move your mouse and select the enemy units. That would be a little bit of a quality of life improvement. Five tiles of additional movement. So if I come here, I should be able to burn through the boss and go over on the other side. Ooh, that's cool. An additional movement to get back in cover. <laughs> the poor guy in there can't stand it anymore. Okay, time to run. You know what? I don't think he has a melee attack. Uh, as for you, should be safe over on this side. Oh, of course, even more login stuff, up to level 40, Nagran skin at level 40. <laughs> Not the Ojo laugh, come on! This looks cute, this looks really damn cute. Uh, reminds me of something that may have come out of Azure Lane, maybe because the what was that? And I get the feeling that some of these skins are finally going to start adding specialized clicks. That is the one great thing. They do! They absolutely do! <laughs> oh, we can move the camera. Uh, moving the camera around is a little bit difficult, but I guess because I'm used to 3D programs. 3D programs don't control like this. Uh, this game just went from an 8 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10 with just one feature. You can have the dormitory set as your login screen. Absolutely fantastic. They have different poses too. Dude, there's even more. 
What the hell? They have been cooking. They have been cooking really damn hard. <laughs> Nagran tough asleep. And they have click interactions too. Now, this is fantastic. Like, if you want a game with a little bit of nice fan service when you can interact with your units, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> the casual clothes with the bunny headband. I can't get over this. Not only weapons can have skins, weapons can have attachments. <laughs> what is this? Uh, increased Vapli Affinity. So yeah, you get these for free. Uh, always attacks from behind cover. But that's it. We have a grenade launcher. I don't think we care. So as always, just start with buffs. We'll be able to take down both. Oh, never mind. They die with supporting fire. I love this AoE. Again, really, really sad that she's just a four star because I absolutely love this AoE. Overall, kind of impressed. Gameplay has been fine. Again, really waiting for more hard content. But the few interactions that we've seen so far between countering, follow up attacks, buffs, these are really, really nice. You'll have to check more on the elements and enemy weaknesses. But again, fingers crossed, that's something that's going to come fairly soon in the future. And yeah, nothing much else left to say other than I'm really, really looking forward to playing more. As always, thanks a lot for coming by, keeping me company while checking out this new game. And see you guys around soon. Ciao!